listen, most people ain't never been consistent for something a year or two in their entire life except their job, and that's because they have to. Mm. It don't matter if I give you the business plan that I'm running right now. You're not going to do it because you have you don't have the habits or the consistency or the discipline to stick with it. Man, you, you stop and start on that diet. You stop and start in the gym. You, how many business plans did you tell your girl you was going to do? Did you stop? You're not going to do it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I like that. Without an enemy, you, you don't know how strong. Yeah, you without are. a foe, a soldier never know his strength. I, you know, and I and I apply that to women all the time, man. You don't know that broad until she comes with a test. And a lot of times, a dude to be with a woman four, five, six, seven years, ain't no test came. Mm -hmm. You said she's solid, she down, cause she been with you for six, seven years, but she ain't never been in a position to get better than you. So why are you giving her so much weight? I don't care if you've been with me ten years. Has Drake come up to you and said, "I'm gonna take you and whisper you away from that man"? No. So we don't know what you gonna do when the situation arrives. That's why I tell these dudes all the time, man. You better give that woman a test, lest you find out when you can't, when when a test come and you can't stand for her to lose that test. You know what? Who she really is. A lot of dudes they wait until it's a situation that they really don't need her to fail, and she failed that test because he didn't test her beforehand. You got to test your woman beforehand, just because somebody around, if they ain't been tested, you don't really know who they are. Man, I had people around me for a long period of time. You know, I'm always having money. They never having money, so they were always meek and humble. And then they got some money and we saw who they really were. I was around them 10 years, but we didn't know because it wasn't a test for them to show their character who they were when they had some money. You know, same thing with the broad. Until she got better options than you, man, you don't really know who she is. But I like that you said that. That's a good man, thing. Like I said, the whole conversation, I had to I had to put that Bible in here because that's who I'm that's my makeup. So yeah. if I don't do that, then the show ain't gonna be right. You know, I gotta find out, okay, what's it what, what's what's really going on, you know. Mm, At the end real. of the day, uh, uh for my boy Ken, he he one of them seasoned vets, you yeah. know. He know I can't get him. I try to flip him over like a cat with nine lives. He keep falling on his feet. I drop him off the roof. Boom, he fall <laughs> on his feet. You know what I'm saying? But you, I thought I could pull something out. I got you with the Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris or whatever. That made him shut down. I, I, I pulled him in a little bit. No, but I like that Bible thing, man, because you can learn a lot from the Bible. A lot, a lot of those things. Yeah. So you just got to think, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't just tell me nothing. Some people read the Bible, you know, you can't just tell me something. I got to run it through my own brain. Does it make sense? to me though and I feel like if people read the Bible like that then they are gonna get a lot of wisdom I would from like it. to I would like to see you read it and then come back read, and no. tell me what you think that's the one thing me and you could cause you, you gonna Man, tell oh, me oh I'm gonna have so much game once I saying? read the Bible I'm <laughs> telling you hey, listen some of the coldest players in okay. the game was heavy into that Bible some of the coldest that's players in the game was heavy you. into that Bible and used that shit in their household <laughs> so I know it's powerful that's what I'm telling you <laughs> check it man hey man listen man Hey, listen, I enjoyed this show. I already knew I would. I, this is my guy. He yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. And then I seen you over there. I said, okay, I seen Beehive. They did their thing. Okay, off the porch. They going over here. You know, I'm, I, 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 they're my boys. Don't oh, get it okay, twisted. Okay. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to bring you in here and put this boss talk on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> No, I enjoy it, man. You guys are dope, man. I, I, hey, listen, man. When y'all go to Cali, hopefully I'm up there when y'all in on the West Coast. Yeah. You got to come. I, yeah. I, I'll be on in, in a few weeks. I'll be up there when I, I don't you know when y'all going. Fifth to the tenth. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be coming after y'all leave. Damn. Yeah, you always come out there. I know, New that's York, crazy. Cali, New York, okay. yeah, that's crazy, man. Come Say, out to man. That Miami, but come out to that. I'm Atlanta. coming to Miami, oh. but y'all gonna be. You gonna be back in Miami when you going back? Uh, shit. After y'all leave from up there? Yeah. You going back down there? You'll yeah. yeah. see me in yeah. Miami. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. After the 10th? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm coming to Miami. Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay, do it. Okay, so yeah, we're nah, going to link up yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm definitely coming to try yeah, to figure nah, out nah. what's going on nah, down there. Nah, you know, 100%. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. How can hey. people get a hold of you, man? You got books or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young Goldie underscore on Instagram. Game Guy Goldie on YouTube. GoldieRatio.com. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm really active there. YouTube. Game Guy Goldie. Uh, young Goldie underscore. Make sure you get that underscore in there. And Game Guy Goldie on YouTube. Man, right. I got I got courses. I got uh, That's hard. Yeah, yeah. Game Guy mentality, man. You want to understand why I think the way I think of the frameworks is breaking. It's broken down in my course, Game Guy mentality course. I got two hundred ways how to ask a man for money. That's for the ladies. You know, I got the manhood, a uh, game and manhood principle ebook. Uh, I got a whole bunch of ebooks, man. You know, I done studied under a lot of uh, very wealthy individuals. You know, been in their programs, and I've distilled a lot of high level information that I give in blue that don't cost too much money. You know, I just give out all the game on all levels, you know, on my site. So man, check it out. Thank you so much, Goldie. What about you, my guy? 
Pippin yeah. Ken, yeah. He, we, hey, you did it again, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Yeah, I told you I was going to bring you a mastermind, right? <laughs> oh, for you, sure, I told and you, you did. This, this is going to be an unusual, a different show. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I told you that we're on a trajectory, you know, that's going to you know, lead uh, a lot of young men to the promised land. You know, we're definitely throwing alarms in the graveyards and waking these cats up, man. man. We're no longer tipping past the medicine cabinet. When we go to the medicine cabinet, we're knocking on the cabinet. I'm like, hey, get up, man. No more sleeping pills. You know what I'm man. saying? Yeah. And that's where we're at with it. And I think that, you know, uh, you know, if Goldie stay on the trajectory he's on, and I, I, I'm a firm believer that he will, uh, I think that, you know, he's going to be not the next Candace, Kevin Sanders, but the great Goldie. You know, I think he's going to be the great guy, game guy. And I think young people and older people are going to listen to him all over the world. And I'm prognosticating. I'm predicting this. You know, my mom used to say I'm prophesizing. Hey, you know what you I'm got now. Yeah, yeah, let them know about the classes, you know. Uh, yeah, we definitely got the classes coming. Uh, you know, they're going to be able to get a double dose, you know, uh, from the young coast and the OG coast. And it's going to be really, uh, really electrifying, man. It's going to be highly spiritual, you know. And uh, like you said, anyone who's watched this show, the one thing this show have done today is show our range, you know, that we can go from religion, we can go to philosophy, we can go to the ism, we can go to the streets, we can talk about the women, we can talk about the men. Whatever y'all want to talk about, you want to talk about exercising, you know, that's what me and Goldie bang to the table. And uh, like I said, you know, we're going to be starting our classes soon so people can go and they can join. And, uh, man, definitely uh, follow me at Real Pimp Kid underscore. And go get my books as always. The 48 Laws of Game, Pimpology by me. You can go get it at audible.com by typing in Pimp Kid. Also, my other book, The Art of Human Chess. If you're a study guy to win, if you want to learn how to move and maneuver and finesse, you know, that's the book for you. You know what I'm saying? That's hey, why I get Hey, let me get one more thing yeah, to you. Yeah, done. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say one more thing. And a uh, shout out to uh, Mallory, who holds down my hip hop fraternity up there in, in uh, Atlanta. Shout out to Vado, my uh, vice chairman. Shout out to uh, CB, Jane, CB Gray. Shout out to my artist, Mike Fresh. He was supposed to be here today, but he's probably in Fort Worth handling some business. Shout out to my son, one of the great Supreme, and my other son, who's an actor in Hollywood, Ken Ivey. And uh, shout out to the entire hip hop fraternity. If they want to join, they want to join the hip hop fraternity. Go to hhfmedia.com. It's a free social me media site, all black owned. You can upload your videos, you can upload your music, and you can follow and DM people. Man, check it, man. What got, we got? Uh, I got a weekly game calls right now. You can jump in on those. I also got. Uh, a website, a uh, free game community where every day I'm dropping gems of game just on life, on, on personal development, all that. And the last thing I want to say is this, man, because I'm heavy on this, man. We, You know, we was talking about the game and things like that. But what I'm really about, man, is personal development. Becoming that man first. All this other stuff, man, y'all want to walk the walk without talking to talk. Y'all want to talk the talk without walking the walk. Y'all want the game, but you don't want to be that man. Y'all y'all want the money, but y'all don't want to be that man. I want everybody to work on themselves, Man, what's a man without strength? You need to be in the gym. You need to be eating right so you can have that mental clarity. You need to be doing the things and be, develop that discipline that consistency the habits once you become that man you can do anything you want to do successfully but if you try to do everything first you're gonna have to come back around and become that man first so become that man first and get your value up man listen man uh i didn't really ask you know but usually when the guests come on here they leave me with one of their necklaces <laughs> i ain't tripping though you know if you don't want to do it you know, it's up to you, but usually they'll leave me one, um, and I'll keep it for them until they get back. It's back, it's both hours. You know? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, I, I would tell them to do that, but yeah, I, I, got, ticket, I, got, man. I got to wear it first. <laughs> and then so I, like, I, I, I had it down let's, to you. Let's talk about the jury for a second. Like, how do a guy, like, like most dudes look at you, they're going to be like, okay, I hear your game. You didn't really express to us the entrepreneurship. How did you? How do you? Let me. How do you help guys? How I'm do you a, help people to come up to I'm where they can come you right on? You know, get on. I'm gonna tell you right now, and this go back to a mentor I had when I was very young. Right, he was very successful in his own right, and I asked him. I said, "Man, how do I become wealthy like you?" And he said, "I'm not gonna tell you." He said, "Cause it doesn't matter what I did." It matters these principles that I'm trying to teach you: the habits, the disciplines, the principles, how to vibrate, the positivity, the optimism. Right, and. I was like, man, this nigga here, he don't want to tell me because he didn't want to tell me because he knew exactly what I was going to do, try to do exactly what he was doing. And I thank him for that because at the end of the day, I really believe wholeheartedly. It's not about what I'm doing. It's not about what I've done. It's about who I had to become. 
And when you become the right person, when you have to have, listen, most people ain't never been consistent for something a year or two in their entire life except their job, and that's because they have to. Mm. It don't matter if I give you the business plan that I'm running right now. You're not going to do it because you have you don't have the habits or the consistency or the discipline to stick with it. Man, you, you stop and start on that diet. You stop and start in the gym. You, how many business plans did you tell your girl you was going to do that you stopped? You're not going to do it. It's not about that. It's about get the habits, the discipline, the consistency, the principles. The mental toughness when you're going through something hard and you do it anyway, which you develop that through fitness, which I have a program for. Once you become that man with all of these traits, you can choose whatever you want to do that's to your liking and be successful at it. But without that, you won't be successful at anything. So I do coaching. I do fitness coaching. I do personal development coaching. And, you know, I have a credit program as well. But it's I don't want people to focus on that and try to do that. I want them to become the man. Man, I could get you. I could get a whole bunch of money from you and put you on my my credit program. But I don't want that because I know you're not going to do it. You know how many people get the program and don't even do it? I'd rather you get on my cheaper program. We get your habits right, get your body right, get your disciplines right. Then you can go out and choose whatever you like and you'll be successful. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.